two extremely important factors prior to launching a product on Amazon that you need to consider before actually making that purchase order, before actually getting into the deep research that you're gonna need to do to pull off success, to increase that probability of success. So I have a lot of examples of where I've launched a product and one of the first things that I look for prior to launching a product is number one, strength of competition. Strength of competition involves a lot of different factors, but there are a few factors that you really want to look at and it's easy to find out. Quantity of competitors. How many competitors are out there on the listing? Their feedback rating. How good is their feedback and how good is their recent feedback? That's also going to help you discover weaknesses in their product that you can incorporate and make your product better. The main image, can you come out with the same product or something better, but with even a better main image, more attractive, create a better click through rate and a better conversion? Can you create or make your listing better than theirs? Do they have multiple pictures on their listing? Do they have A plus content? Are they doing everything necessary to remain the dominant players in the market? So if you have very few competitors and they are listings aren't optimized, that makes for a potentially good situation, a higher probability win rate for you to launch that product. But here's the second thing that you really wanna look at prior to actually getting into the weeds of launching uh, launching your product, getting into the purchase orders, looking for suppliers and things like that. And one is, do you have a good idea that you're gonna be able to come in at a cost that's similar to your competitors or better? And maybe you'll still have to go out and to suppliers and look at pricing before you even get into more of the research. And here's the deal. I launched with a client a product about a year, uh, 15 months ago, and these were low quality listings, low quality main image, but they were dominating the market. There were three competitors and they had five, 600 reviews, four star, four and a half star reviews. So the listings were dominating, uh, but not much competition. But because his buy price for the product was around a dollar, he had the ability, the client had the ability to actually come in as a low cost leader. And that's what we did. So we launched and we dropped the price well below the competition. Now the competition may not have been paying attention because you're not ranking that well. You're gonna sneak up on them with a low pricing strategy. And what ended up happening is the competitors eventually saw that the pricing was low. They matched the pricing, okay? But they didn't hold it enough because they were so dominant with organic sponsored rankings, which were much more dominant and they wanted the money. They didn't want to run a losing product or a break even product. So they basically couldn't wait any longer and they increased the price by about 20%. Well, we held it for another week. And what that allowed us to do is to increase our conversion and increase our organic rank dramatically over the next week. And as that competitor continued to raise their price in increments of five or 10%, we then were able to increase our price, but still be or remain below 20%. Now we were eating it on the margins. I believe we were running at a small loss per unit, but that only took about two or three weeks to run its course. And in that meantime, we gained tremendous organic rank on the competitors. And Eventually, we became the number one seller in that niche, selling over $100,000 per month. And that is where it's really important that you're getting a buy price where you think you can take the product to if you need to, to move it well below your competitors. And even if they do price match, perhaps they're not gonna hold out as long as you expect. Those two factors, my friends, strength of competition and your buy price, which will give you that flexibility for pricing flexibility, will ensure that it will increase your probability for success in your product launch. And that's what it's all about. There are many, many other factors that you can get into once you solve those two things that will allow you to increase that probability for success for your product launch on Amazon. If you like this content and you wanna see what else I have to say about product launches on Amazon, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.